Hello Astro Devs, today we build a production ready deep link router in Flutter using Go Router. I will add the router piece by piece so you can learn this cleanly. We start with an empty router and add routes, enable logging, normalize OS links and then add an auth card. If this helps you, subscribe now, we publish these breakdowns regularly. First, go and create a router folder inside lib. And then inside it, we create a file called app router. But before everything, let me not forget to tell you, you both need to have a Go router and URL launcher package inside your dependencies, which you can add them in popspec.yaml. So make sure you have add them, make sure you have run the opget so that the deb so the dependencies are downloaded. And if it's downloaded, go to your app router dot inside here. We first start by creating an app router from the go router class. I can see it. Yes, it's important. Uh, this is the skeleton we'll expand. Now add the route map. Now add the route map. We'll expose slash slash profile and login. This makes the in-app navigation work immediately. I assume home screen, profile screen and login screen already exist. At this point, internal navigation, like for example, context.go slash profile slash 42 will work. External deep links are not handled yet. Make sure to also enable debug log diagnostics so we can see the routing decisions and incoming locations while testing deep links. After you run the project, you can see go router log lines whenever a link hits the app. This is crucial to debug the normalization step. Operating systems handful URIs to app on OS with a custom scheme like this ends up as our router expects slash profile slash 42. Here we add a small normalize incoming URI function that turns any incoming URI into the plain path form that the router expects. Then we wire it into a redirect that runs before route matching. This function will return slash profile slash 42 for either this URI or this URI and keeps HTTPS paths intact, including queries. Now we apply the normalizer in redirect. If the normalized path is different from the incoming URI, we return it once so GoRouter will match the cleaned path. After this, incoming URIs like this will be written slash profile slash 321 for example and match the route tree. Keep debug log diagnostics on while you test so you can see the rewrite. Finally, add a simple auth card. If a protected path loss slash profile is requested and the user isn't authenticated, we redirect them to login with the query from, this is the from origin URL, and after the login, the app can return to the original link which we send it over here. But in here, is login is just a placeholder. Replace it with your real auth state from blog or provider. The redirect first normalizes, then checks the matched location. If it's a profile route and the user is not logged in, it sends them to the login while preserving the original link in the from query parameter. So now the last step is to wire this router into material.appRouter in main.dart so the whole app uses it. Make sure to also set widgets, flutter binding, ensure initialize function over here so you don't face any bugs while testing your router. And this is how I set up my router using material app dot router you can use your app router which you created in here uh, let me show you this and we pass it to the route config of the material dot app router you can find a link to this depository on our github profile page in the description so you can use these screens if you don't have them yet you can see that i've set up a demo screen for you over here so you can use the app and test your deep links so router is ready now we need to teach Android to hand links to the app. We need to edit our manifest inside the app, inside, I'm sorry, inside the Android, inside the app, inside source, and inside main. This is your Android manifest. You need to edit this activity tag. We use, we need to add an intent filter. We need to add this intent filter. So we accept AstroDev slash slash links. I don't currently access an Android emulator, but on your machine, Rebuild this and test it with this command. You need to type it in your terminal and see if the link opens in your app. If you face any errors while testing it, make sure to leave it in a comment so either me or someone from the community will answer your question. 
If you later want a HTTPS URL open to your app also, add this second intent filter. Domain verification is separate and optional. Keep the auto-verify file false until you host the verification file on the domain. Now register the custom scheme on iOS. We need to go to iOS file, runner, and plist, info.plist. We need to add this plug to the higher dict tag in info.plist to register Astro devs as the URL scheme the app handles. Now we can run our app. Let me come here, run and debug. I'm sorry, <laughs> yes, I need to go to a dart, run and debug. And let me bring up my simulator over here. So you can see the app is launched. Our first routing is working because we're in the home screen. And if I just press in here, I can go. Oh, you see that the login is false. So it sends me to the login. But if I hit mock login, it sends me back to the profile 42, which I first requested. But let's see if our app also handles deep links. What you can do on an iOS simulator, you can come to the Safari and in here, just search for, let this open, okay. Change this URI. You can also, all right. You either can use AustroDevs, comma, slash, slash, profile, slash, 321, or AustroDevs, comma, three slash, like, slash, 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 profile, slash, 321. Both of them should open inside your app. All right, this actually, oh uh, yeah. You shouldn't actually search it in the Google, make sure you are searching it in here and you're changing your URI. And yes, you can see it says open this page in Astro Deep link, which is the name of our application. We say open and you can see it correctly opens the correct screen with the correct profile ID. And you can see it says user profile ID is 221, which is what we searched for in here as you can see if i do it again it says open this page in also deep link i say yes and you can see our app deep link is working and also as i said make sure you test it on an android emulator it should work without any problems but again if you face any problems let us know in the comments down below and also again you can find a link to this depository and codes in our github which the link is also in the description down below and also make sure before going for a production, you change this is logged in with a real auth state from your blog or provider and implement a secure login flow. When you own a domain and want app links or universal links to also open, you need to host the verification HTTPS files and come here to your Android manifest and flip this to be, and flip this to be true so it verifies every coming link. If this video helped, subscribe to support the channel. If you want to help found our next project, donate. Every donator earns a spot in our upcoming app. Also, cast your vote in our latest community poll, which is titled, Which OS do you prefer as a Flutter dev? That will help us to make our next big video. Links for the poll, GitHub repository, and donation are all in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.